Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an animated class syllabus video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Are you looking for a creative way to introduce your class syllabus to your students? Well, look no further. Making an animated syllabus video using Doodly whiteboard software is a fun and easy way to get your students excited about the upcoming semester. So you're going to start with your basic blank whiteboard project in Doodly. And I'd like you to refer to your paper syllabus or an outline of some sort. For example, this is what I have here for a fictional English class. And we're going to use this to build our video. Now, in the interest of time, I did build out a few scenes here with, you know, the outline type stuff. And we're going to go ahead and jazz that up a little bit. You will want a blank scene for each major section of the syllabus, like I did. Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3. And, of course, a scene for introducing your teacher, which is what we're going to start with here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my little outline. And I'm going to delete this little introduction. You could do something here as your classroom introduction if you wanted. You know, put the room number, the hours, etc. You could certainly do that. And how I got this scene here, it's over here in the scenes tab. And if you browse through, you will find the classroom. Here's one that you could also use. You could use something like the school. Here's the classroom that I used. You'll notice this one is in black and white. I am using the rainbow edition, so I chose to make it color. So we're gonna delete that, but it's certainly something you could recreate if you wanted to. Today, I'm pretending that I'm Mr. Jones and that this is my picture of myself, okay? So bear with me while we pretend that. I found this picture on FreePick, but of course, if you're you, you might have some professional photos of yourself that you could use. You could also, of course, use a doodly character representing you or nothing at all. You could use books, globes, different props that illustrate whatever your class is. You know, if it's a chemistry class, little beakers and atoms and whatnot. This particular photo did also remove the background on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one instead. It does not have that gray background. And now he's on this white board and I think that's going to look really nice. Now let's go ahead and add our text. I'm making this kind of a fun one so I want to use a fun font and I'm going to go ahead and type in English 101. Make it really big and then down here I'll just use some standard text and we're going to put the class period. Let's just say it's period one. And then the teacher's name. Now we want to do something like, what is the purpose of this course? So I'm going to do that on this scene. And I'm going to use a thought bubble. This to be really big. So remember, I'm trying to make this one have a little bit of a sense of humor for this. And one of the units is about the model of argumentation. So I thought this would be kind of cute to have the teacher pondering this. Should I really teach these kids how to argue? So I just did some timing adjustments over here on the right. And now I'm going to click on my teacher and click the pencil icon. And see how he scribbles on by default? I like the little fade reveal mode. So if you go down to reveal mode and change that to fade, he'll just fade on instead. And I like that effect much better. So let's take a look and see what we have here. So he fades on English 101, period one, Mr. Jones. And then we're gonna leave this on for about six seconds so people can write down his name or he can walk on, who knows. And then we have that. Okay, whoa, and then it goes away too fast. So we have the hand come on, draws that on for one second, and let's make that a little slower, two and a half seconds. And then scene settings, we want some time at the end before it swipes away. 
So I'm going to say five seconds. Let's give them time to laugh, you know, read it and laugh. And we're imagining the teacher is actually standing in front of the class. And this is a video that he's playing for them on like his smart board or whatever he has in his classroom. And that will be fine. So now we get into the nitty gritty, the different units. And we're going to imagine this is going to write on. And again, remember, he's in front of the classroom talking. We're not going to do a voiceover on this. We're going to let him stand in front of the classroom and say, hey, kids, we're going to be talking about argument this year. We're going to go over what is an argument. We're going to go over this model of argument. And we're going to go over what sources and evidence are. And basically, that's it. Then he's going to move on to the next screen. So we need sufficient time. So part of it will be the actual drawing of it. So we'll have the hand draw these things on, probably give it some delay time. And then again, at the very end of the scene, some time for him to be just talking about it. These are things, the timing, you will need to kind of practice your, your speech, what you're gonna say and go, okay, for this section, I need a total of 25 seconds or whatever it is. And then you just make sure that this scene is that amount of time. Now, this is very boring, just this white plain screen. So we are gonna want to add some images. So maybe we want a picture of kids arguing or a debate or something. I do have Doodly Marketplace, so maybe I could find some characters there that are arguing. Previous. Unit one, argument. Who's that lady? And then the teacher's gonna be talking about what is an argument, and there's a little bit of a delay, and then we're coming on the Pullman model of argument, and then a slight delay in sources and evidence. And then there's enough delay. Remember, he's gonna be talking, so I added like, I can't remember, 10, 15, 20 seconds at the end. And then boom, now we're going on to our next unit. The research and the writing process. So again, we need some props. Research. I'm going to say books. I did a bookshelf here. And again, something like this would be fine. Another thing that you could do if you wanted is you could add the teacher, more pictures of the teacher. Let's do teacher. All right, so I use this one, teacher three. I have more and I want to upload it. So you click on the props. Click the little blue plus sign, and then you just drag and drop your images in. So I have another picture of myself, Mr. Jones. And maybe we do this. Instead of having the books, maybe we have him. And pencil icon. Remember, I personally like this little fade, so that's what I'm doing. And I like that. Go back to this first one. I had another image. I don't think that I uploaded it yet. So I'm going to bring this in. I have this little nerdy image that looks like my teacher. Maybe we put this in. Well, I'm not sure this is the right spot for it, but we could certainly do something like that if we wanted. All right, so let's go to unit three, rhetorical analysis. Let's say maybe this is where we want it. Why not? And if we want it, we could do a speech bubble. This is one that I found on a site like FreePick or Pixabay. Then I'm gonna put it behind here. And this time, instead of having the same look that we had before, we're gonna just bring our outline into the speech bubble. This one's gonna need to have word wrap on it. So it fits. And I like that. We just need to change some timing. So we want that draw on like a second. I think this one has a drawing path on it, which it does. So see how the hand will draw it. I did that myself. And of course, this little guy needs to come on first. And it does not need to be three seconds long. I'd say a second at the most, maybe half a second. 
and the, the, the little pencil icon. So, do fade. And let's make sure we have time at the end. We'll say five seconds. And then finally, we are at the end. So we're going to put one more picture of our teacher. So I'm going to add this. And I want a QR code so that they can actually download the actual PDF syllabus. It's going to have all of the details that they need. So I have a QR code that I have created and I'm going to go find it and I'm going to upload it. Now, if you actually scan this, this is going to take you to doodly.com because I just used that as my um, URL. You can make these QR codes on free QR code generator sites, websites. Just type in Google, go free QR code generator, and you'll find a ton of them. And basically all you do is you copy and paste the link to whatever it is you're linking to, and they'll give you a download of a QR code that you can download. And then anytime you scan this with your phone's camera, you will be prompted to go to that website and then you can download a PDF or whatever it is. So that is what we're doing here. So click new path and you get a little tool here. And it's red, you see this little red line that you can make. Well, we're gonna make it really fat so we can see it and so that it will do this, it will reveal the entire blocks of black here that we're covering. And now that's gonna just kind of draw on in a more controlled way. I didn't do it perfectly, but it gives you an idea how you do that, okay? So that is it. Let's take a quick look and then we will be done. Now remember, he's talking this whole time and giving time for a little pause. And then we have our first unit and he's gonna talk about that. And of course, you know, he's got these little pauses built in. And like I say, you're gonna want to time yourself and give yourself enough time for each of these things. Well, at the same time, you don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna leave a ton of empty space between these things because it's not like a PowerPoint where you can start and stop it real easily. That said, you could make these individual scenes and place them in a PowerPoint easily enough. And I do have tutorials on how you can do that. Now we're almost to the last scene. Let's see how this one looks. There's our hand-drawn QR code. And boom, there you have it. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can bring your classroom syllabus to life using Doodly. Thanks for watching.